After years of trying to find a home, the Video Game History Museum now has a home. It's going to be in uh, Frisco, uh, the Frisco, Texas Discovery Center. Uh, they approved um, nearly uh, 10,400 square feet uh, and $1 million to cover the, cart the startup costs of this video game museum. Um, so it's going to be in Frisco County, I guess, uh, Texas, uh, near, near uh, Dallas-Fort Worth. So um, uh, I have a reason to go to Texas now. Yeah, yeah, we have a reason to go to Texas now. <laughs> Not to see Amen, no way. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I think this is good. I mean, uh, it, it's about time they've been looking for a home for this video game museum. They, they were traveling around showing off different games and stuff like that at conventions. Now they have a place where they can put all their stuff. Um, and they said it, it, they want it to be bigger, and they're asking – like uh, Nintendo, uh, Sega, for donations to help make it even bigger, so they can like put arcade games in and actually have a giant arcade. They want to put every single arcade game they have that's in storage out. Um, as of right now, they said they're going to be sw swapping games in and out when they first build it. Um, but if they get a building big enough, they can put everything out at once. So I think that's really cool. So um, what you're saying is bring a wheelbarrow full of quarters. Yes, yes, bring a wheelbarrow full of quarters. Okay. Yeah. I hope actually I hope it's like pay one price and then you can play it unlimited games. Oh, I think that would be kind I of fun. They will never leave. <laughs> this is just a bad idea all around. You can't put me in a video game museum with working video games and expect me to ever go home. <laughs> I, I will hide in a closet somewhere. I will shower in the bathroom sink and get my food from the cafeteria. Oh, man, this is a bad idea. <laughs> but um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna move to Texas and work there. <laughs>